So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Tadis Code Learning and in the last video what we have done is we have created a sublet where we are sending a name and then we are printing that name on the JSP page using this label tag here and this is EL right. Now what we'll do now is let's try to use JSTL. So we'll do, this, we'll do the same thing, we'll print something here but not using EL but will be with the help of JSTL. Again, we can do that with EL, but you know, EL was introduced just to have an attribute in JSTL. So let's see how to do that in JSTL. So if you want to use this with JSTL, first of all, let me just give a break tag here. So if you want to use this with JSTL, we have to use a special tag called as out. The problem is out is not an inbuilt tag inside HTML, right? So this is a custom tag. And whenever you want to use a custom tag, we have to import or we have to use that library. Now to use that, we'll say percentage, add the rate, and the way you can add libraries inside your, your Java JSP is using tag, tag lib. Then you can mention something called as prefix. Now prefix means whenever you want to use any, any JSTL tag, we'll be using that prefix. So let's say if you want to use out, we can say out is a JSTL tag by mentioning C at the start. Then you have to mention URI. Now what is URI? URI is a location where you have your JSTL. Okay, I mean the, the definition of your JSTL libraries. Now what URI, URI we need here? So if I say control space, you can see I'm getting lots of options here. So we'll be using this one, a code one. Okay, so this is the path for JSTL code libraries. So inside, inside JSTL we have lots of libraries. We have JSTL, we have Okay, now we are not getting options. Okay, so you can see we have code, we have uh, format, we have functions, we have SQL, we have XML. Out of which we'll be using, we'll be using code, function, and SQL in this series. So we start with code. Okay, so we have to mention C, and then okay, yeah. So we have to mention URI, and then that's it. You can whenever you want to use out now, we have to mention C colon, and then you can mention a uh, value you which you want to print so let's say i want to print only hello world nothing else if i want to print hello world we can say c out value hello world and save this now but you have to make sure that whenever you want to use jstl you use the library here you have to add this library which is jstl library so jstl 1.2 you can download this from google just go to google and search for jstl and there will be some website which has this library you have to also make sure that library is there in your web, INF for web app library or you can do that by adding one of the ways by adding that library inside lib folder of web INF. Okay. Now once you do that, go back to your browser and say enter. You can see we got Naveen and we got hello world. Now why we are getting Naveen because we are using this label. Why we are getting hello world is because we are writing hello world. Let's say I don't want to print hello world here, I want to print Naveen itself so I will use dollar and the curly brackets and we can say label. Okay, so you can see using expression language you can mention, we can mention that here. So even that will work, but this was introduced in 1.2, JSP, I mean JSP second version, not the first version. Okay, so in, J, in the second version of JSP we can use this, but not, uh, so in the earlier version we used to work with this. Okay, so that's how you use out, uh, out, tag, out tag in JSTL. Now what else we can do here? This is just a basic. Let's go for some something else. Uh, what 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 else? What other tags we have here? So if I say C colon, you can see we have list of tags. Control space. You can see we have catch. Now catch will be used when you want to do exception handling, right? We can use for each. So let's say if you have lots of, uh, we have uh, we have a list which you want to print. We can use for each. We can also use import to import some some other website in your project. Uh, example, if I say import and if I say telisco.com, uh, but not this way, you have to mention the whole path. We say HTTP colon double slash www.telisco.com. So you can fetch the entire source code of telisco.com in your code. Okay, let me remove this one. Okay, let's see how to fetch the code. If I say enter now, uh, that's the, okay. So you can see I'm fetching my entire website here. Okay, I was not able to fetch everything, but we got, we, I got my website here. In fact, I can, if I mention some specific thing, if I say online.htm, okay, online.htm, and if I run this code now, 
Okay, you can see we got our, so that's, that's, that's my website registration details if you want to register for the course, right? If I say details, it works. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, so we have to provide that link as well. But you can see we, we got our, we got the page here. We have not got the CSS file and all the stuff, but we got the page. So we can use import. What other, other things we have? We can say C colon. Uh, we can use, let's see what else we have. So you can set the so you can set the variables. You can remove the variables. Let's say if you want to set the variables, we can say set, and we can use property name. We can specify the scope till what point we'll be using this. Uh, then we'll be using value, what value you want to store, and the variable name. Okay. So you can use set. We can also say remove for removing the elements. But in this example, what what I'm passionate about is to use an object. Let's say any in this, I'm not creating object of string. I want to create object of student. So what I will do is I will create, oh, first of all, we need to put that string so that we will not get any error. Let's create a class here and we'll, name this, we'll say this class as student, which belongs to com.telisco. In this student class, let me have some variables here, okay, some properties. I will have these properties as private int roll number, okay. Uh, let, let me just remove private just to show you something. If I remove the private and if I say string name, just two variables. Okay, and if I go to the servlet and if I create object of that student, if I say student, oh, we also need a constructor using which you can assign the values just to make our work more easy. We'll say source uh, constructor will fetch both the variables here. We'll click on OK. And in the, in the servlet now, let's create object of student. We'll say student s equal to new student by passing those two values. We'll say one and name I'll be using is Naveen. I love my name, I don't know why, but Naveen. And instead of sending the label, I don't want this string name here, I'll be sending a student, again, you can use any name here, any label, and here I will be sending S. So I'm sending S with a label student. Now in this display.jsp, if you want to print label, what will happen is, since you are printing the label, if I go back to my browser, if I say enter, okay, it is printing nothing because it is not label, it is student because we have removed the label, right? So now we are using student. Okay. Why this? Why are we get this error? Anyway, ignore that. If I say enter now, you can see we got something, and that's your hash code. Okay. I don't want to print the hash code. I want to print the actual data. So what you can do is you can say student dot. Uh, you can specify the property. I want to print name. Is it name? Uh, what is that? Yes, it is name. So if you want to print name, you can say student.name and if I run this code, we got an error. This error says property name not found. Hey, hold on, we have a name there, right? Why it is not able, see, it is also specifying that name property is not inside student. Why it is so? It's because whenever you want to use JSP and whenever you want to use any object, you have to make sure that you are using beans, okay? And how to make a bean? To make a bean, you need getters and setters. So that's the only way you can fetch the properties. You have to say source, you have to say getters and setters for both the variables. We'll say, okay, you can see we got all the getter setter here. And if I save this, if I go back to my browser, if I say enter, we got Naveen there, right? It's awesome, right? So we can, we can send the data from your, from your servlet to the JSP in the object format. You can see I'm, I'm sending an object here and then we are fetching that object with the help of expression language. Now again, you can use also use that G, uh, that JSTLC out tag. The main intention here is not to send one value. Let's say I want to I want to send list of students and I, do, I don't want to print only one thing. I want to print the entire object. And to print the entire object, you have to make sure that you implement a two string method in your code. So let's implement the two string method. Uh, if you are familiar with Code Java, in Code Java we Whenever you try to print the object, it calls the two string method, right? So I, 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 would, I would like to print the two string method of that because if I run this code now, it will print both the stuff, roll number and name. But let's say I don't want to print only one thing. I want to print the entire stuff. Let's say I want to print, uh, I don't want, I, I just, I just don't, don't want one object. I want three objects or four objects. What you can do is you can create a list of student here. So I can say list of student. And here we can say studs equal to. Now we can create new at least and you can do all the stuff. But since I know what type of object we are working with, how many values we need, we can simply use arrays 
dot as list and inside this we can create multiple object I can say student first object one and name is Naveen the second object let's say we have new student uh, two comma Arti and then we have new student this is three comma in double quotes we'll say Pratik so what we are doing is we are creating us we are creating an add a list with this all these values I don't want to send one object so instead of sending one student object we can say students I want, I'm sending lots of students and the object name is studs okay so from this servlet I'm not sending one thing I'm sending a list now how do you interpret that list here because if I say students and if I go back to my browser if I say enter you can see we got all this data here but you know in one particular list I want to print that in iterative format one after the other for that we have to use a for loop right we, we normally use for loop the normal for loop in JSTL it provides you a special loop called as for each loop so we can use for each loop and inside this for each loop you can mention certain parameters the first one is items now this items is the least name so you have to use dollar okay first of all we need a we need that double quotes in this you have to mention the least name which is students right let me just verify let's go to servlet and it is students then you have to mention the variable name now what variable so one I mean which object will hold one object so I will say s so when this loop r runs it will so it will it will fetch one one object it will fetch first object then it will fetch second object then the third object and every time you just have to print s right but that should be inside the curly brackets okay and after everything we'll print a break statement so that it will it will be on new line if I go and run this code now you can see everything we got on a new line right in fact if you want to print only one specific thing you can also do that we can say s dot name it will only print name now not the entire object you can see we got the names here so that's how we use JSTL so we can use for each tag which belongs to JSTL and we can mention items we can mention the variable name right and then we can iterate using the name there so that's how you use JSTL code tag in fact we have lots of tags just try to explore on those tags okay uh, in the next video what we'll be doing is we'll be working with the s or uh, the functions or uh, yeah functions type of um, function functions tags okay so that is from this session if you liked this video make sure you like on the like button and do subscribe for further videos